Hi everybody, today we are going to open up a box of the Rittenhouse Star Trek Next Gen Archives and Inscriptions. These boxes have four autographs, um, two of them should be inscriptions, and there's um, some inserts in here as well, um, and uh, they usually, I think the inserts for these ones are very detailed, go into the, I believe the very last episode and the very first episode of the show, and um, so without further ado, let's see how we do. So uh, Rittenhouse has done a few of the inscriptions and archives things before. So these base cards all have different quotes from the characters. And like this one uh, for Riker has 18 different quotes. So you can build a base set of 60 or you can build a master set that has all 60 uh, or all, um, all variations. So when we've got... Um, and then this is a Lower Decks insert. Um, you get, I believe, one or two of these per case. And this is from the new TV show. Then you've got different cards. So again, the smallest ones have nine uh, variants. And the largest ones can have up to 18. So these base sets are quite big. So here's Data. Uh, Locutus of Borg. Then we've got another um, Inscriptions or uh, Lower Decks insert. And there's more. So these are what all the base cards look like. So if you like the show, it's going to go over a lot of the different quotes and things from different episodes. So it's kind of a fun thing. Here's Worf. Klingons appreciate strong women. Then here's a... So here's our first autograph. Here's a base autograph of a, a news vendor um, who also is in um, the Gremlins movies, that actor. So there we go. And... Uh, so these autographs, you can get um, some of the main cast. Uh, there's a Geordi card. Um, then here's a green uh, insert. This is the best of both worlds um, insert card. So these ones, you get lots of inserts. Well, not lots of inserts. So you get inserts. And uh, the fun thing about this product is if you really like the show... You'll remember through the, you can go through all the quotes and things. Here's another uh, insert, the best of both worlds. Um, and you can go through and remember all the different quotes and remember the different episodes that they come, they come from. Um, some of these actors may only be in one episode. Uh, here's an encounter at Farpoint um, insert. So these are very deep uh, inserts. Like this is card number 41 of the set. This is card number 34. So they go through... Um, the episodes, the first and last episodes, in great detail, the, in, the two insert sets. And the cards are fairly rare to get. Um, here's Ashley Judd and her first uh, acting thing as uh, Robin Leffler. She does have autographs in here, so that's a good one. Here's our first inscription. Uh, Loxana Troy's valet, uh, Mr. Haman. And uh, that's um, Carol uh, Strykin. So... Um, there's, uh, and the fun thing about the inscriptions as well is they can have funny quotes and things like that. For uh, that inscription, it goes over um, the actor's, uh, kind of one of the things he did. That actor didn't speak, so his inscriptions are most likely going to, uh, maybe he didn't speak very many lines, going to be uh, probably next gen and things like that. Um, so the characters could inscribe, you know, the show. They could inscribe their the, the character's name. They could also inscribe funny lines they had or famous lines they had, famous quotes they made. Here's Captain Picard quote. Um, and the nice thing is they're numbered on the front and then on the back as well. So you have the card for the um, within the set and then within the one itself so you know the different ones two of the same same cards different quotes so that's a nice, nice thing about this version of this set is you've got lots of variants so here's another data quote or no actually this is lore data's brother there's hugh there's another lore Riker and o'brien so that pack had mostly very recognizable characters uh, there's 60 characters that are in this set. Uh, so, you know, past the main cast and then also some special... Okay, here's um, 
Oh, that's cool. So this is a die cut card um, called Violations, and this is number 57. Uh, so that's kind of a cool card with the die cuts through the middle and on the sides. Um, that's a, a neat insert that they that they've done. And uh, there's Spock. So we're about halfway through the box. We've got two of our four autographs. We're still hoping to get maybe Data or Deanna Troy or Dr. Crusher. Okay, looks like we've got another insert coming. Here we go. Oh, here's Deanna Troy insert from Lower Decks. That's cool. It's a Lower Decks um, character card. Uh of Deanna Troy, so that that's cool. So they incorporated the newer stuff of Lower Decks with, okay, so here's another inscription, Barbara Williams, I've lost track of all time from Anna and Liaison's episode. So we should be getting one more autograph. Um, it may be an inscription, it may be just a regular autograph. There's Wesley Crusher. Okay, here's this is a Deanna Troy box. So this is a Infinite Possibilities Counselor Troy insert. So this is kind of a thicker one, which is cool. We've got Scotty. From his guest appearance. Okay. And then we've got our last autograph. We have Jessica Bradley, which is was um, played by Carolyn Allport. And the big goodbye. So a holodeck um, episode, I believe. So you get two autographs, regular, um, and then also two uh, inscriptions per box. And then the the base cards are fun because they're all you know the same style as a, mostly just pictures of the characters. But then they have um, you know famous quotes throughout so you can easily go through these cards and enjoy them and read the quotes and have maybe there's funny ones maybe there's you know ones you like um so it's uh it's a fun set for those that like star trek next gen and the autograph set is very robust there's lots of people um and uh, most of the main cast are in here You've got Q. I know he's he's signed in there, and I know the Traveler has signed, and Rolaren has signed. So I know that there's you know quite a bit of characters that, that um, were beloved from the show, or liked, or have gone on to do other things as well. So you should get at least one set of all the sixty regular cards in per box, which is good. And then um, it'll take quite a bit to get the full set uh, with all the variations. And then here's another Encounter at Farpoint card from the first episode. And there is our box. So overall, the product is fun. Um, if you like the show, it's going to go into very good, very big detail of the first and last episodes with these uh, insert sets that go almost scene by scene from the two episodes. And then you've got uh, lower deck cards that you can get um, from season one and season two. Then you've got um, Infinite Possibilities card, cards, uh, character cards from Lower Deck, and the um, cards that uh, go over the die cuts. So it's a, a fun little um, product, not super expensive. Um, there are 7,200 boxes that they've produced, so not, not a ton, but not you know super rare. And uh, you get 24 packs a box, so I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.